Hello, Mark Crossfield here. We're going to do another interactive video. We're going to talk about drawing, fading, a bit of Gorilla James, also a little bit of fun. So, no to do. Let's get stuck in. So we're going to hit a few shots. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how I would hit a draw. I'm talk to you a little bit about how I'd hit a fade. And there's a few other fun things in there as well. So this is a bit of one of those interactive videos. I did another inter in the bag video which had these interactions. So if you look around you, if you've got annotations on, if you're watching this on a mobile, it's going to work so well. But if you're at your computer, you've got annotations on, just click on any of the items here that you'll see. So old uh, Mrs. Darkfire's face or um, Mickelson's face or my fancy YouTube hat or the basket, these things. And I'll talk you through how I hit some certain shots. So draw, you want to see a draw. Okay, so what I'll do to hit a draw, I'm just going to turn Trackman on here. Uh, make sure we got the right audio on. Okay, so we've got Trackman on. Let's make sure she's turned up. If we hit a draw, I've got uh, side, left and right, so how close I am to the target, and I've also got spin axis on as well. So if this number is a minus in spin axis, that means the ball is spinning on a minus tilt, so this way as it spins backwards, which is what we'll know as draw spin. Okay, so for me to hit a draw, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see where my target is and I'm going to start by setting my face slightly to the right of that target, so set, say about five yards right of target. I'm then going to set my feet maybe seven to ten yards right of target and I'm going to try and swing right of where my face is pointing. So my face is pointing five yards right of target, I'm going to try and swing a bit more seven yards right of target to try and get the relationship between my face and my path working in a way that will start the ball down the right and then draw back to my target. So I'm working with my face to path angles and then lastly working the target into that equation. I'm not setting up to the target and, and then working to that. I'm working almost the other way around, that face to path. So I'm going to start with my face pointing right, feet further right. I'm going to try and feel that I'm swinging slightly right of my face. As I make my back swing, I'm going to do a few things. that They're almost subconscious, but what happens is I tend to turn off the ball slightly a little bit more, so lean a bit more to the right. That helps me promote this more to the right path with my club path, so more to the right than my face, which gives me the desired spin. So let's see if I can pull it off. They want to see a draw. There it is. That's not too bad at all. Not quite as much spin as I'd want. Five zero point two hundred to the left. Spin axis minus three point one. So minus three point one on the spin axis. So not the most spin as I would like. So I'd like to see that kind of fives to tens, but still a bit of draw spin. And it's zero point two meters to the left. So at the target. So I hit my draw. I started down the right. Start my face down the right. I swung my path slightly right of my face, which gives it that spin back to the left. That relationship between my path and the face, that's what I'm thinking about. And I'm relating those angles to that target. Hit a draw, there's a draw on the target. Haha, <laughs> the gorilla. You want to see the gorilla. Right, come on in then, gorilla. Here he is. Gorilla James. Oh, he's looking angry. He's looking angry. Do it. <laughs> he's off. He's gone. The gorilla is gone. He's out. Club head speed. Club head speed for the gorilla. 107. Wow, 107.3 miles per hour with my poor little six iron, which I don't think is going to recover. The guns, gorilla, gorilla guns, go on then, gorilla guns, here they are. The big man's guns, see, he's looking angry, look at him. The guns. They're, whoa! Look at those kids. There they are. The guns. They're, all right. Done. Out you go. Goodbye. See you next year.
There they are, the guns, get rid of the guns. Brilliant. So a fade, right, a fade, similar to my draw, in the sense that I'm gonna aim my club face to the left, about five yards left. I'm gonna try and work my swing more, kind of seven to 10 yards left, so contradict the face and path angles to get the desired spin. Uh, let's make sure we got the right numbers up here, with Trekman helping you guys understand the spins I'm putting. So where with the draw we saw negative spin axis, we're now looking for positive. See if I can hit target. So I'm gonna aim left, just have my feet aiming a bit further left than my face. So the face isn't at target, it's left target, about five yards. I'm gonna try and turn a little bit more on top of the ball, which helps me feel like my club path is gonna come across the face a little bit more. Um, so I wear the draw, I felt like I turned behind it a bit more to change my pelvis angles and my, and my spine angles to create a different path. This one I'm gonna feel like I turn on top of it a bit more, which gives me that slightly cross angle, that cross pass. That's my feel. So face left, five yards, feet, Further left, seven. Swinging across the line of the five, face left. So trying to get that contradiction. Here we go, turning on top of it. There we go, it's loving that. Stop spinning, a little bit right. Side zero point per meter to the right spin. 11.9 degrees. So more spin on that one, positive 11.9. So tilting that way as it spins backwards, which gives it that fade. So that's fade spin as we know it. And then side 0.4, shaping it right in there. That's how I'm in a fade, changing my face, changing my path to that face. And for me, simple thought of turning on top of the ball gives me those numbers. A juggle, right, cool. I haven't done this for a while, bit of juggling, eh? I'm sure most of you watching are better than me at this, to be honest, but here we go, bit of a juggle. I haven't done this since I was a kid. There we go, and this one never works, but we'll give it a go. <laughs> there we go, bit of a juggle, there we go. Make your selection. A high one, okay. A high shot, the way I would hit a high shot, got my six iron here. Let's just get the right numbers here on track man. So we're gonna look at launch angle, see if I can Sort launch angle out, where are you there? And we'll look at height as well there. So launch angle and height is what I'm gonna play with. Hit a high shot, I'm gonna do a couple of things. I'm gonna push the ball forward in my stance, so I wanna try and get hitting up the back of the ball to try and send it higher. Also, I want to try and add loft, so I feel like that ball's forward, so I'm almost leaning the shaft back to add loft is the feeling I get. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually aim slightly left when I hit a high one, so I'm gonna try and put a bit of cut spin on it also. So I've got my face a little bit open to my path, just to try and squeeze as many degrees of loft out of it as possible. And then if I'm confident I'm gonna make the strike, which if I practice this shot I am, I try and hit it as hard as possible, try and send the energies up because I'm adding loft, adding angle, I'm gonna sit it hard, it'll go higher. Six side. These aren't real balls, so the numbers might not be as true to your numbers that you get if you're using different balls, but I'll show you a contrast to a real shot in a second as well. So here's a high one. Not bad, not my highest, but that would go over most things I'd be trying to get up. Launch angle, 20.5 degrees. Height, 25.2 meters. So it didn't top out as high as I'd hope, but it's 25.2 meters, which for these balls is a bit high. But the launch angle was 20 degrees, so it got up quicker. If I hit this six iron more in a regular way, so I'd hit a normal six iron with these balls, that's going to launch near a 16, I think that's coming out of that. Launch angle, 14.9 degrees. So much lower, 14.9. 19 meters. And 19.6 meters height, so considerably lower and launching much lower. So that, for me to hit that high shot, ball forward, I feel like I'm hitting it on the way up, so I hang back a little bit with my upper body, and I open the face to my pass. So I aim my face slightly left, but then swing further left of that, just to try and add some 
Um, cut spin and some height, which to me feels like I'm adding more loft and I get the most high shots I can. Also then what happens is I hit the ball as hard as possible. So you're done, thank you. Thanks for watching. Fun video, a little bit of insight into why James is the gorilla, cool he was angry today, wasn't he? And then a little bit about how I hit the shots and what I'm thinking as I hit those few shots. Thanks for watching guys. As always, post comments down below. Hope you enjoy these fun videos and we'll see you all soon. So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. Also thumbs up the video, post comments. Love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social. The more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.